What is up everyone, welcome to the third round of the Portland Monthly Pre-Modern Paper Magic Afternoons January Tournament. This is the third of seven rounds, which includes a cut to top four, so let's get into the decks because we got a lot to cover. First up, we have Duck on a Astral Slide deck, a red-white Astral Slide deck that is titled Rifter, but with starting with a W. Uh, it's been a minute since I've seen an Astral Slide deck, so I might be a little slow on the uptake here on some of these cards. Also, some are not old border for for the most part. They're all original art, which is great. So basic premise with this deck is you're getting value out of cycling cards, cards like Astral Slide and Lightning Rift, really hammering that point home and control cards like Source of Plowshares and Wrath of Gods, really keeping the board clean until you can land a big Decree of Justice or your Eternal Dragons. Sideboard seems pretty standard. Now we got a Disenchant, some Pyro and Red Elemental Blasts, Extra Seal of Cleansing, some Exalted Angels, which is pretty sweet, a few Cursed Totems, a German card that I think is Sacred Ground, and a Relic of the Protect Red. All that makes a ton of sense, so without further ado, let's check out his opponent's list. Next up we have Blair returning to the camera with Classic Sly. Kind of went over this list last time, but nothing too crazy here. The Urza's Bobbles are nice because they just draw you into gas. They also help fill up your graveyard for your Grim Lava Mancers. Overall, just a really beautiful deck. Sideboard is also pretty tight. Personally, I would love to have one more Anarchy in there to fight around white enchantments, but besides that, no complaints here. So without further ado, let's get into the games. Okay, here is round number one. We got Duck on the left, Blair on the right. Now, I'm not sure if the players know what each other is playing right now, but Duck, I feel like, is a little bit disadvantaged here. Definitely want to keep an interactive hand, and yep, he's just going to ship it right back. Uh, yeah, definitely want to stabilize, have the interaction up that uh, he has definitely packed the deck with to keep those ball lightnings and jackal pups at bay and really only have to worry about uh, the direct damage spells. And we'll see if he gets a keepable six here. Looks like Blair is keeping seven. And I see lands and spells. Looking at putting a Decree of Justice back, it looks like. That seems to be probably the right call. That's definitely more of a late game card. And it's just going to pay a Plains and pass. All right. And we got a Blood Standout for Blair. Going to crack it. And looks like a Mog Fanatic. Yep. Mog Fanatic coming down. Down to 19 and go. In response. <laughs> Cycle a step, draw a card. So maybe a bit of a uh, very land heavy hand for Duck. Ooh, I think that's a lightning rift off the top. Exactly what you want to see. Blair just going to give that a little read. For those of you that don't know, I want to recycle a card. You may pay one if so. Oh, a lightning rift uh, deals two damage to a target creature or player. Mog's gonna get in for one. Everybody's at 19, and we got a Cursed Scroll. Now, there's not a ton of ways in Duck's deck uh, to deal with this, especially if it goes grindy. There is a one of uh, Seal of Cleansing, I think, um, in the main. But definitely a great card if uh, all of Blair's answers keep getting rifted. Oh, <laughs> is that the one of Seal of Cleansing? Oh, no. All right, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely a good draw. Blair's just going to go fetch out another mountain, get some more fodder in for a, a Grim Lava Mancer. And... Ooh, here's a ball lightning coming down. Do you have a cycling card? Not only does he have a cycling card, he has a spark spray, which is just about perfect. Uh, I almost wonder, actually, if you're supposed to cycle that and then deal the one damage, right? Either way. <laughs> Pretty good. 
Um, we're just going to do land and pass. I feel like a lot of the uh, Astral Slide deck's turns are on your opponent's turn. Oh, another ball lightning coming down. Stacked hand for Blair right now. But nope, we got a response. Cycle a cave. Shoot the bolt, or shoot the ball. Draw a card, and still get pinged for one. So going down to 17. Another land coming down, Temple of the False Gods, I think, right? New art. Uh, actually does something now that he has five lands out, so good job. <laughs> Ooh, and we got a main deck. Is that a main deck relic? Uh, the red relic, right? That is very good. Obviously, somebody watches the, uh, the videos and knows that red is a real problem in our local meta. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay a white, prevent that damage. Uh, Nobly, this is a little bit worse than a circle of protection. Uh, in some instances, because you do have to pay white, it's not a colorless. And we're just going to pay a white to prevent that damage. And then cycling a step. Uh, paying... Oh, a right, so little bit of uh, discussion going on here. Maybe trying to shortcut a little bit too much. Uh, a cycling deck like this is not necessarily super common, and I know that Blair is relatively new to the format, so just trying to figure out how everything's working. Um, so yeah. So pay a white to cycle. Pay a white to ping for two using the lightning rift. And then pay one more white with the Relic of Protection uh, to prevent damage. A lot of stuff going on here, but this is all correct. And Duck just uh, walking them through. So, after all that, end result, uh, Mog dies, draw a card. And then goes to his own turn. Definitely hitting the land drops here, which is pretty nice, but eventually you want to do something more on that. I'm just going to pass the turn after that. Blair passing it back on your end step. <laughs> Cycle of Renewed Faith. Ping you for two. Gain two. And draw a card. Going back up to 19. So at this point, oop, and we're also <laughs> going to do a little bit more. Uh, yep, ping you for another two. Cycle the spark. Draw a card. At this point, Duck is definitely stabilized. Uh, as long as he can keep the cycling cards in hand, which proven to be a little bit difficult. He is drawing a lot of lands. Okay, there's his bobble coming out. Take your pick. A Govian find. Can you actually cycle any of your enchantments? I mean, I guess you can get back your seal of cleansing. This might just be a hedge um, in case his board state's interrupted. Lots of pre modern decks to run uh, artifact and enchantment removal main deck. Usually just like a one or two of, but that can definitely mess with a deck that relies uh, very heavily on enchantments, like this Rifter deck. On your end step. <laughs> Let's cycle out a Decree of Justice. Ooh, and there's going to be a lot of little guys hitting the battlefield. Uh, it looks like potentially four. Assuming he wants to max it out here. Yep. All right. Make four one ones. Bolt you. <laughs> Pyroclasm. Or sorry, fire blast.
another one. We're just sacking all the lands here, trying to burn them out. So that's four, eight. Uh, we're not getting the dice updated on the screen. But that was four, eight, eleven. So duck sitting at. Yeah, here we go. Sitting at eight. Notably tapping out of his white mana to get those soldiers down, and Blair seeing that as an opportunity to get as much damage in as possible. Uh, I can't imagine Duck will be tapping out of white mana again anytime soon. Plays out a second lightning rift. And just gonna pass, Grim Lava Mancer going down, pass. That is a Swords on the Lava Mancer. Gain one. Go up to nine. And can we get enough cycling cards here? Paired with the four soldiers. I'd love for those soldiers to be uh, represented with a card. <laughs> I guess we'll do skewed dice. Down to five. Do you have two cycling cards in hand? It does not look like it. it. Looks like there's an uh, Argovian find. Another bauble. Let's we'll see if we get the other one. And another swords. All right. So at least protected uh, from creatures by quite a bit. <laughs> and just gonna swing for four. Go down to one. Go. Do you have a cycling card? I think he does, doesn't he? Maybe just holding up interaction just in case. Okay, Grim Lava Master coming down. And, yep, just gonna do a slice and dice. Ping you for two, and that's gonna be game number one. And here's game number two. Blair's gonna take the play. Great game number one from Duck. Really holding up interaction, stabilizing the board. Not top it out, except for that one time <laughs> where he did take eight, or sorry, 11. <laughs> Which was definitely a calculated risk, but obviously paid off. Having the main deck, Relic of Protection, being very good there. I know he has at least one in the side, so that's most likely coming in. Blair not happy with the seven, gonna ship it back. Notably, Duck's deck also does have an Enlightened Tutor making all those one ofs and now potentially two of uh, Protection Enchantments. Way better. I wonder if the second Seal of Cleansing was potentially brought into for uh, the scroll, the Curse Scroll. Probably not. It is definitely a relevant card in the deck, but not the worst thing imaginable. All right, we're just going to start off with a bobble before any lands are even revealed. And there is a slice and dice. Great card to have against mono red. Most of the creatures will die to it. Give it a read one more time. <laughs> Three to cycle. A red and two white, or uh, two close. All right, we're just gonna lead off with the classic Jackal Pup, go. Nope, oh, not forgetting the Bobble Draw as well. All right, we got a Pain Land coming down, a Battlefield Forge, not the best against uh, a such such an aggressive deck, but here we are. All right, we got a Grim Lava Master as well. Land, go. Interestingly, no Cycle, no Spark. Tap land to go. Fetch, grab a mountain, and Grim Love Mancer is now online. The duck hopefully looking to deal with that pretty soon. Can't really tell much from what is in his hand. I think I might have seen a circle, which might have been why he kept or sorry, a relic, not a circle. This included step. Now we're going to lead out with the planes. And pass. Interesting. 
Okay. Exile two with Lava Mancer, take two. A fetch. Get some more Lava Mancer fodder. Again, dice not being completely updated here. I think that's a ball lightning in hand for Blair. Barbarian ring and two mountains. Oh, we're <laughs> just gonna slice and dice. All right, shock you first. Get the two cards. Take another two. Down to 10. And I think Blair did remember to take the damage to the Jackal Pup as well, which is good. Just gonna play out another Pain Land. Thinking about how he wants to tap this. We get in a uh, renewed faith. No, nope, we're just gonna get a relic of protection and pass. Keep <laughs> both of the white sources open. Interesting. All right. Uh, that is a. Oh gosh, I am totally blanking on the name of that enchantment, but it deals uh, one damage, I think, to each player. It is in. I think it's Korean. <laughs> We're gonna look this up real quick. Get a card translation. But I believe it's one damage each turn. That's how it works. And players cannot gain life. Sorry, right. gotta pay the one to prevent the damage. Yep, from any red source. Play out a mountain. Tap three and oh, it's just a it's just a little guy. <laughs> it's a little morph. Totally not suspicious. All right, we got a bobble. Obviously, we know what it is, as we saw Duck's sideboard. Hey, there's a lightning rift. That's pretty good. And Blair flooding out quite heavily here, unfortunately, and. With Duck being able to just pay for that one damage every turn, not a lot going on, unfortunately. All right, another plane's coming down, even more damage protection. But do you swing in here? No, just taking the two, not gonna flip it over, interesting. Be very tempting too and another mountain, and this is just not looking great. Yet another planes, and now do you flip it? You gotta start dealing the four and getting the, the lifelink at some point, right? I guess this way he's able to protect it from any red damage, but no, still not flipping it. All right, we got a Mog coming down. Mountain, go. So many mountains, which is unfortunate to see for such an aggressive deck. You definitely don't want to be uh, drawing so many mountains. And with Duck just drawing more and more threats, more and more big things coming down. Could prevent two of the damage, ping you for one, prevent the damage. And suddenly this is Duck's game to lose, Duck's match to lose. Blair thinking here, seeing if there's a way out. Not really able to see what's in hand, but I think at least one more mountain, which is very unfortunate. And is just going to pass the turn. Uh, Alright. Prevent the damage. Let's do Flaring Pain. No, you can't prevent the damage. 
It is only one point, but without being at nine, it could prove relevant. And having flashback is also not bad. So he could just pay one more again, I believe. I could be wrong about that. Let me know in the comments if I am. And just gonna swing in for two and still not flipping it. Very interesting. All right, pay one, deal two to you. Go to three. If he has another cycling card, if he had flipped it this turn, could have been the win. Although he might still have it. All right, yep, <laughs> we're just gonna call it there. That is game number two. Duck takes the match and great games from both players. Unfortunately, flooding out is never how you want to lose a game of Magic, but there was still some interactive Magic to be had. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more episodes. Like I said, this is only round three out of seven total, including the cut to top four. There is more spicy decks to be had. I did peek at some of the future footage and there is some really fun stuff, so don't miss that. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you next time.